In this video, we will compare rectangles, one bigger and one smaller. As we're drawing pictures, we may have to draw two rectangles to help us visualize what is happening. Often, we're asked to multiply, add, subtract, or divide one area to get the other. As a general rule, we want to multiply or add to the small rectangle, which will make it bigger and equal to the big rectangle. If we are dividing or subtracting, we will do this to the big rectangle, which will make it smaller or equal to the small rectangle. So, for example, in this problem, we're describing a square... Try that again... ...which is then increased in size. We don't know the side of the square, but each side of a square should be the same, so let's make them both x. Each side is going to be increased by 6 inches, so now the two other sides are x plus 6. We are then comparing their areas. The area is multiplied by 16. We multiply the small one to make it equal to the large one, so we'll take 16 times the area of the small rectangle or square in this case. Length times width will give us x squared. And this will equal to the other area, length times width, will give us x plus 6 squared. To give us something easier to work with, let's multiply out that right side. We can square the first term, the product's there twice, 6x and 6x is 12x, and finally, square the last term to get 36. In order to make this easier to solve, let's move everything to the same side of the equation. We'll subtract x squared, subtract 12x, and subtract 36, which will keep the x squared positive. When we do this on both sides, we end up with 15x squared minus 12x minus 36 equals 0. Let's start factoring to see if this can be solved. We have a greatest common factor of 3, which leaves us with 5x squared minus 4x minus 12 equals 0. What's left does factor. If you had problems factoring, you could use the quadratic formula on it, but this one factors to 5x plus 6 and x minus 2. Now we can solve by setting each factor equal to 0. 5x plus 6 equals 0, or x minus 2 equals 0. Solve the first equation by subtracting 6 to get 5x equals negative 6, and dividing by 5 to get x equals negative 6 fifths. We can solve the second equation by adding 2 to get x equals 2. It would not make sense to have the length of a square equal to a negative number. The only number that can possibly work in this case is x equals 2. How many inches are in the side of the original square? 2 inches in the side of this original square. By drawing two pictures so we could visualize the different areas, and multiplying the second one by the 16, we ended up with an equation. I'm sorry, multiplying the smaller one by 16, we end up with an equation we can easily solve to find our dimensions. In part 2 of this video, we will look at a rectangle following the same pattern.